Hello, this is Ben with Solveering LLC. This is tutorial number one, the basic use of the InStep application to convert an STL file to a STEP file. You launch the application just like any other one. In some cases you may want to run it as an administrator. Once the application loads you'll get the option of running as a free version, which means that it will be limited to 5000 facets and only one body, or you can also go ahead and purchase a key from the web or activate a key that you already have. For this demo I'm just going to go ahead and use the free version. You import an STL or similar format by using the icon on top or by going to File Import. During the loading of the file you'll see a dialog box that's telling it's checking for pierced facets. This is fairly important but in some cases you can skip it. If the file comes in clean it'll tell you that there are no issues detected in the file. You can now go ahead and export the file, or you can also go ahead and change some of the configuration settings, which is something I'm going to go ahead and cover in a later tutorial. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and export the STP file to a local file. Once the application completes writing, you can go ahead and close this application, and then load the file in whatever CAD file, CAD application you want to use. For this case here, it's just going to be STP Viewer which is a free application from the web. The thing you'll see, and I just want to briefly mention, is that the application does not remove triangles. It still maintains a set of triangles that define the body. But the main difference is that now the file comes in as an STP format, which means you can interact with it in your CAD application and do things such as dr drill holes, enlarge it, or crop it, and things like that. Please also take a look at our other tutorials for more detailed information on some of the other features.